All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to change the oil on my 2018 Chevy Colorado. I believe this will work with uh, the Canyon as well. Not sure of yours of applicability, but I would assume all or most of second gen with the 3.6. Um, forgive me if I'm wrong on that. Verify with the manufacturer where the location of everything is. First, I like to start off with loosening the oil cap just to get some vent ventilation in the system for the air. I'm also gonna use a ratchet with an extension or a view and an adapter with a 24 millimeter socket. Go down, find the oil filter. And the oil filter is all the way. Let's see if I can clear it up in the video here for you. Down in here. I'm gonna try it like this. Sorry for the awkward cutout. There it is. So I'm gonna get my ratchet on there and unscrew that. All right, I loosened it. It took a little bit of oomph. The Chevy dealer changed my oil last time. He gave it to me for free, so I couldn't turn it down, but I like to do it all myself. Now there's gonna be resistance for a while. As you break the gasket out from unscrewing, and then all of a sudden it's just gonna free right on up. Okay, here we go. Now this is a cartridge style. So what it's gonna do is once you get it unscrewed, the oil actually drips down into the pan. So you don't need to worry about catching any of it on the driveway for those of you who are not used to uh, changing a cartridge style. So the whole plastic piece is gonna come off and the filter from the inside is what's gonna be replaced. After I get that out, I like to clean all the used oil out. It's kind of advice I got from my dad. He was like, you're always going to do it better than the shop because they don't care about it as much. And I'm always going to clean out all my dirty oil because of that. So, all right, underneath the truck where we'll find our oil pan. Yeah. I'm bringing you with just to give you an idea of location if needed. Here is our socket. All the way over here. I put the socket on it already but it's a 15 millimeter this is the plug and i'll get my ratchet and unscrew that all right here we are unscrew it nope i got my old pan underneath let's put some cardboard underneath as well in case there's any leaks or anything once you break it let's break that it should be pretty easy to unscrew and then as soon as it's loose of course you're gonna get a gush of oil if it's hot if your engine is hot be careful because the oil obviously is going to be hot Bam. that's out we have a free flow all right here's the old filter and the old gasket and then here's your new filter the new gasket. You need to replace both. Uh, the gasket gets uh, pressed over time and every time you replace it, you just replace both. Fortunately, the gasket comes with the filter, so this should make it pretty easy. I'll get that done. To take the old gasket out, I just get my screwdriver, wedge it underneath here, and pry it out. Pops right out. Easy peasy. And there we go. Old filter is out. Gonna get the new filter in. Remember, this side is the one that goes on and in. And it's always recommended you put a little bit of new engine oil all along the gasket to help it seal. I'm going to do the same thing on my filter here. Uh, this one has a gasket. My old one had a little bit of felt. I think GM used an AC Delco or GM. I don't know if that's better or worse or not, but this one's a Wix. And I've always had good luck with Wix. Um, I'm not particularly picky, though. So I'm going to put a little bit of uh, clean oil along this gasket as well. All right, she's all cleaned up and assembled and ready to be put back in the truck. I would like to make a small note that before I put this in, the new one in, I had my oil draining this whole time just to, uh, just to get uh, every little drop out. So after I put this on, then I'll go back under and put the uh, drain plug back in. 
And as they say, installation is reverse of removal. Got the ratchet back on, gonna tighten it up. I hand tightened it as much as I could till I met the resistance. Now I'm just gonna tighten it with the ratchet till it's tight and it kind of seats. You don't really need to push too hard. You'll feel it when it's on. Now I'm gonna go back under and replace the old ring. All right, going back under. <clears throat> I said, I'll always clean this up. Uh, here we go. All right, and last but not least, we're gonna put the oil drain plug back in. Not sure the torque specification right off. All right, I'm gonna put the drain plug back in. I like to do hand tight at first. I'm not entirely sure of the torque specification. Uh, if I find it, I'll put it in the uh, description below. All right, and you're going to fill it with six quarts of oil. Uh, the F GM calls for 5W30, full synthetic, and they want something that's DEX OS rated. Um, I always use Valvoline full synthetic, um, but as long as it's OS, DEX OS rated, uh, it should be good enough for your application. Uh, the 3.6 uh, calls for six quarts of oil. Uh, not sure. Different engine types might require different oils, but the 3.6, it says it uh, requires 6. Always make sure you check your oil level with your dipstick, and don't under and don't overfill it. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.